Good morning. Generalized functions as distributions. Let us write uh, the Schwartz definition of distributions in n-dimensional real space capital R n. Definition. A linear functional f at function psi for psi in the set of test functions C0 infinity uh, on omega is said to be a distribution in the domain omega if and only if for every compact uh, support S of the test function psi there exists uh, constants M and capital K such that the absolute value of the functional at the function psi is less or equal than the capital uh, K uh, times um, supremum of the all possible derivatives, partial derivatives of the order not greater than M, supremum over test function psi for every test function psi. Where the multi-index is uh, uh, alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha n, uh, and it determines the derivative, partial derivative of order absolute value of the index alpha, which is the sum of the components alpha 1 plus alpha 2 plus alpha n, and the uh, partial derivative with respect to uh, alpha 1 times with respect to x1, alpha 2 times with respect to x2, alpha n times with respect to nn. That the symbol is um, no, known uh, in the partial differential uh, courses, but uh, to clarify again the symbol, uh, let us consider the derivative 2, 1 of, a f of the function u of x1, x2, which is E x1 square times x2 to power 4. Clearly, in this very uh, case, the we have n equals 2, two variables, 1, 2, and then the alpha is 2, 1, as we have here uh, written, and the uh, length of the index is 2 plus 1, which is 3, so that the derivative of the function we can uh, uh, have as uh, the, this very symbol deep to one, yeah, and that uh, the third derivative because of that uh, length n, uh, twice with respect to x1 and one time with respect to x2. So if we differentiate that uh, function here, we have 2x2 two to power 4 the first derivative, partial derivative with respect to 2, which is 8 x2 cube. That is clear. Uh, then the other uh, uh, example can be considered as a homework to confirm the understanding of the symbol. The, one of the most um, uh, important class of uh, distributions is uh, uh, related with um, uh, uh, locally integrable functions, generalized functions. We call this class generalized functions. Generalized functions are distributions which are determined by locally integrable functions. So let f be a locally integrable function in the domain omega. What it means? There exists uh, the integral over uh, uh, compact S of f of x. That means there is a finite number the, in, the integral uh, ribbon or uh, Lebesgue integral over compact. So that uh, integral is to be uh, to exist for every compact uh, uh, set in the domain S in the domain omega. This we understand as locally integrable uh, function for every compact uh, domain S in omega. Omega is domain and domain is open. The compact set is closed. Then we consider the linear function generated by the local integrable function as the integral over omega f of x psi of x for every test function psi in C0 infinity over omega. That is functional. This functional 
satisfies the conditions of the definition, Schwarz uh, definition of the uh, distributions, uh, because uh, first uh, condition is that it is uh, uh, the linear functional. Linear functional because uh, integration is a linear operation. That is clear, of course. That for the second uh, condition to get the uh, inequality we have uh, uh, here represented in the definition uh, to get that um, inequality. Sorry for that. We have it here. Okay, to get constant m and k, we have in the case of the uh, distribution, uh, we have the functional is absolute value of that integral. If we enter with absolute under integral, of course, we have the inequality, that is obvious. But by the uh, cauchy schwarz inequality, we can have uh, uh, um, uh, integral over s or from the absolute value of f of x dx and integral of the absolute value of the test function over s that is Cauchy uh, uh, inequality we know that well and this this term is independent of the function psi so it can be a part of the constant capital K so if we take supremum of that uh, integrand, absolute value of psi of x, then we have supremum, then we remain under integral uh, over s dx, which is the measure of that uh, domain, of that uh, support s of the function psi. So we, uh, clearly, uh, in the second condition, we have m equals zero, because we don't have differentiation of the function psi. So k will be the integral, which is this one, times that um, measure of the uh, support s, which is here, so the constant k, and that holds for every, uh, every local integrable uh, function, so we have a generalized function that, uh, generated by a local integrable function. Of course, let us observe that if two functions f and g determine the same uh, uh, distribution, that means the value of the functional is the same if it is generated by f or g for every psi, this has holds, that means that f of x equals g of x almost everywhere in omega, almost everywhere, that means everywhere except at a uh, a set of measure zero. That is also known notion in real analysis. Let us consider example, which is heavy sides distribution. Let us consider the heavy side step function, which we have. We know this one for positive, zero for non-positive, or shifted uh, heavy side function one for x greater than x zero, zero for x less than zero. We have graph of that function. That is clear, we, have, we are familiar with it. And we know very well that the integral of uh, shifted delta Dirac to, with the focus point x0, the integral from minus infinity to x, is the heavy side function. This everybody can check, because it is 0 if x is less than x0, because delta is 0. And if x exceeds x0, then it, the integral will be 1. Okay, now uh, the same fact we can observe the derivative. Derivative of heavy side function, which does not exist in, fa in fact at uh, uh, point x0, but if we apply the fundamental theorem of calculus as the uh, de derivative of the upper limit of integration, then we have, uh, uh, according to the fundamental theorem of calculus, this uh, in derivative is the value of the integrand at the point upper limit of uh, uh, integration, which is x, which is delta. So derivative of the heavy side function, shifted heavy side function, is the Dirac's delta distribution. Of course, the derivative does not exist at x0, and the value of this is also not given at x0. However, the derivative in the sense of distribution exists and it is delta direct distribution. 
This is uh, this we shall clarify how to differentiate distribution in the sense of distribution. We, uh, for we have we shall clarify later. Now let us uh, note that the heavy side function generates in fact this uh, distribution, uh, this generalized function because clearly it is uh, h of x psi of x if h is zero uh, up to uh, up to zero is this this fact so the integral will be from zero to infinity that is obvious fact and we have this is a linear functional because integration is a linear operation so the value of the linear combination we have here is the linear combination of the values of the functional that is obvious fact and everybody is able to check it so in the case um, of that heavy side distribution we have also the inequality satisfied because the absolute value is evidently that one if we enter under integral and take supremum uh, maximum of that test function over the its uh, support s then we shall have k and that k will be the measure measure of the uh, support of the function s okay so we have it you have it so now let us note the fact that there are distributions which are not generated by a uh, local integrative function in other words there is no local integrative function which generate uh, this original distribution this is the Dirac's delta distribution. Dirac's delta distribution is not a generalized function. It's not generated by a locally integrated function. To prove it, let us go for the contradiction. Assume that we have such function f here, that the value uh, of the delta Dirac is the integral of that uh, function f times the uh, a test function psi for every test function psi. If it is we shall come to contradiction how we come to contradiction by the definition of the delta dirac we know that the delta dirac at the function psi is the value of the function psi at zero so we have here so that that part will be here so that integral must be equal psi of zero for every test function psi if for every test function psi let us take this test function which is uh, zero out of the interval minus in a plus a and exponent to minus a square over a square minus a square if it is in the closed interval minus a plus a for positive a if it is so then this integral as we have observed before for this very test function which is this and this integral will be exponent to minus a but but with it is easy to know observe that uh, it cannot happen for any any a because we have only uh, assumption that a is positive it cannot happen we can choose a so small that this integral which is from minus a to plus a because of that zero out of the interval so that that uh, that inter integral we can make as small as we wish even less than uh, than one or uh, less than any positive number so we can choose uh, a such that it is less than uh, exponent to minus one which contradicts uh, existence of such function which uh, generates uh, uh, Dirac's delta distribution as the uh, exercises uh, let us solve that uh, um, questions uh, I think I, w I will suggest to have a homework for the uh, this uh, question but uh, the, the text uh, can be sent by email for those who are interested uh, for uh, with that solution thank you